You know, Rob, if you rewind a little bit, uh, one of the DC, one of the many DC projects that had been announced and then went nowhere and things like that, one of them that had a lot of people very interested was a Nightwing project. There was a project coming about, you know, the guy who, Dick Grayson, who was the original Robin, went on to become Nightwing and then went on to become Batman for a while as well and back to being Nightwing and all sorts of good stuff. But anyway, Chris McKay, who was the director, the wonderful director of the Lego Batman movie, Rob. Rob, I I can't remember if you ever got around to watching the Lego Batman movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I I mean, I was truly, truly surprised by how completely entertaining that little Lego Batman movie was. He's got the Tomorrow War coming out. Uh, He's Chris McKay has also just been announced recently to be directing a Johnny Quest movie, which is going to be really interesting. But he was attached to do a Nightwing movie. And then because of all the delays of what was going on with the Batman at the time, it kind of bumped things off and he had to leave the Nightwing project. But he didn't leave it entirely. Now, Chris McKay is talking again and doing his promotion for The Tomorrow War. Chris McKay is now out talking about what the status is. He was asked about what is the status of Nightwing? What's going on with that? And apparently it may not be completely dead. According to Chris McKay, he said the following. I hope it's still a reality. I hope that uh, that we still get to make that movie, talking about Nightwing. As far as I'm concerned, it's not lost yet. It is obviously something that they've had other priorities. They've had other challenges. They've had things that they needed to do, and I think that they found their way. I think their recent success and the stuff that they are planning on doing now, I think it opens the door for us to still be able to do a Nightwing movie. Whether you call it in an alternate universe or you pick in their multiverse version, which universe it's part of, there are different ways into it. But Nightwing is a big, action-packed, emotional movie. Because remember, he's got the script written already. It may not budgetarily be similar to what we're doing with The Tomorrow War, but from a scope and scale standpoint, as far as the kind of action and the kind of heart, that's what Nightwing is going to be all about. And this, again, comes to us from Chris McKay. And Rob, I got to tell you, I've never really known how you fit Nightwing into the existing DCU. Like I've always kind of felt with the DCU being as it is at this point, trying to put Nightwing into it was always going to feel forced and shoehorned. It just wasn't going to feel natural, but with Warner brothers taking the genius step of creating elseworld kind of stories outside of the DCU, like with Joker, As Chris McKay says, this opens up the door a lot. Like, that means this movie that I've written, we could do, and you can just say it's in an alternate universe. Say it's in an alternate title. It's something separate from the DCU, and in that world, you know, young Dick Grayson became the ward of Bruce Wayne, grew up as Robin, then seceded away from Batman and became his own hero, Nightwing, and this is his story. It makes, it puts that back on the table. And Rob, I'm not going to lie, one of the reasons, just besides the fact that, you know, Richard Grayson is still my favorite Robin um, and and whatever. And I think his story is incredible. I love the idea of this because of Chris McKay. I just, I've really enjoyed his work and the stuff that he's done. And I'll tell you what, I hope hearing the way he's framed this, I hope this happens. Now, listen, directors are often very optimistic. And so it would have been nice to hear him saying, oh yeah, yeah, this is going to get done. I would rather have heard him say that. I'm still iffy. I don't know if this is going to happen, but I know I would like it to happen. Rob, two questions for you. After yes, hearing Chris McKay's words here, number one, do you think a Nightwing movie will happen? But number two, are you even interested in Chris McKay's iteration of Nightwing at this point? What are your thoughts? Well, I, I'm a huge Nightwing fan because I was a big Teen Titans fan. The original Marvel, well, actually not the original, but the second volume where George Perez and Marv Wolfman created it. It's one of my favorite comic series of all time. And that's where Nightwing was introduced. So I've always loved that character. I've always loved the Dick Grayson Grayson iteration when he changed into Nightwing. And I do think like, look, you know, we see in Zack Snyder's version of Justice League and of Batman, we see like, the version of Robin who died and it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't, uh, Dick Grayson. I don't think 
So you could theoretically bring in a character like Nightwing and have him tied to the Batman in some way. It's just, again, we haven't seen their relationship yet. And I think it would make for interesting storytelling if halfway through the movie that Nightwing had to consult Batman and, uh, you know, Kon uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi style or something. So I think you could make a Nightwing movie work. And again, if it has a great script and obviously a great person playing Nightwing, I would definitely be there for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I would be excited. I think McKay could do something pretty interesting with the character. Obviously, he's had time to think about it. So, um, I, John, I would just love to see a Nightwing movie, you know? And uh, we've seen him in the Arkham games. I, I, I Bring it on. Why not? Right. Now, of course, anything that doesn't isn't said on screen isn't real. Right. So I right, believe sure. at some point Zack Snyder said that in his mind, the version of of Robin that died was Dick Grayson. But I don't believe that was ever said on screen uh, unless I'm right. forgetting something that was never said on screen. Of course, in the comics, the actual Robin who died, who was beaten to death by the Joker with a crowbar in one of the most mentally disturbing things I ever read uh, when I was young, was like, oh, my God, he's killing Robin. That, that You know, that one panel where Joker is like with the crowbar above his head and you see you don't see Robin, but you just see the blood splattering with the Joker. That's an iconic, iconic panel. So I still always had in my head that that was Jason Todd that died. But still, I, I think it would have to be, as Christmas K what Kay was just saying, it would probably have to be in a different universe. But either sure. way, I'm with you. I want to see this, especially with him directing it. I think it could be really interesting. And with Warner Brothers opening it up and saying it doesn't have to be in the DCEU, I think that creates a lot of storytelling opportunities. And I hope Nightwing is one of them. Question is for you guys. Are you interested in a Nightwing movie? I certainly am. Maybe you're not. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.